so in uh, LARPs that I used to play in the late 90s, it was quite common to have random or semi-random mechanics. For example, you could uh, resolve a fight using this rock, paper, scissors thing. Uh, however, then pretty soon we pretty much uh, discarded of those mechanics and instead we went to a model where players, you know, just go to the corner, talk a little bit of game and decide what happens in the fight and who wins. And sometimes there has also been an emphasis to go for dramatic outcomes, to somehow play for maximal drama. And uh, lately I have the feeling that LARPs, or at least the LARPs that I go to, have gone and are going more into the direction where, play, where, where the player is in control of their a, um, own LARP where they have agency over the story arc and agency over the fate of their character. And um, I'm not sure if that always creates the best possible LARP experiences. Uh, for example, if a character dies in a LARP of this type, you would probably plan it beforehand and agree on the details of the death scene. However, we have also these different examples uh, in Just a Little Lovin, the seminal LARP about the HIV crisis in 1980s New York gay community. There's this lottery of death to decide who gets ill and who dies. So it is randomly decided. And I think it would be a completely different lob if players could decide for themselves whether their characters die or get ill. I guess you would like talk between acts with your co-players and discuss what would make the best story and so on. But in real life, you don't get to control everything. Things are random. And sometimes a perfect story is cut short because somebody dies in the middle, just before the climax. And sometimes art, including LARP, aims to give a feeling of realness. Just a little loving is about fear of death. There is no room for that feeling if you get to decide whether you die or not and whether your loved ones die or not. If the player is in control, then there is no feeling of uncertainty. And I think that's why there is a random mechanic in Just a Little Loving. And you sit there at the lottery of death, and you wait whose name comes out of the hat, and you fear for the loved ones. There's an aesthetic of randomness in play. In LARPs, there is a certain tension between, on one hand, creating the best possible story, and on the other hand, experiencing what your character would be actually experiencing. So there's this tension between telling a story and living through the events as they happen. Of course, one alternative to player control is designer or organizer control. For example, if a character is going to die in a LARP or some characters, then the designers can decide beforehand who will it be. And then they would typically aim for dramatic outcomes or outcomes that they think will create interesting play. But sometimes this maximal drama can feel a bit artificial. It can remind you in the middle of play that this is not real, this is designed. And sometimes it can also be a little bit predictable or formulaic. So uh, this randomness brings something uh, else in the LARP. Uh, 
in a seaside, uh, seaside prison, I wanted to um, avoid this feeling of um, sort of being predictable or formulaic. So I decided to include several random elements. So it is a five hour black box LARP that is set in a fictional world where the situation on Åland Islands in Finland uh, resembles real world Gaza. So the Åland Islands are an open air prison under military siege. You need special permits for people and goods to get in and out. And every now and then the islands are bombed. The LARP is about two families who live as neighbors. They are preparing for a wedding and during and after those preparations, some of them die in nighttime bombings. We decide randomly who dies. There's a picture of a character dying in that scene. Uh, so in reality, uh, wars don't follow the laws of drama. So I wanted to apply the aesthetic of randomness. So uh, during the LARP, I threw a dice to decide which one of the characters die when there is a bombing. And there were also other random mechanics in the LARP. Some characters, for example, apply for foreign visas or permits to get out of Holland, and it was also randomly decided which ones of them get these permits. So uh, there's the wedding in the LARP, and it's a key part of the design. Uh, because I did not want the LARP to be just gloomy, uh, like these sad things, they, the LARP is about sad things, your family members dying, and they usually feel more sad when there's some happy things to contrast them. And also people who live in midst of conflicts, who live in conflict zones, they also in real life have moments of joy, like they fall in love and get married, and so on. So uh, we ran the LARP many, many times on repeating days, so we could see how the randomness play played out in different runs. And for me, the artwork, art it felt like the artwork was, in a sense, this sequence of different runs, not just an individual run, but the whole sequence. And in one run, for example, the bride died in a bombing on the wedding night. And it made for a very dramatic story. And some players actually had, quite hard to, uh, had it quite hard to p believe that it actually was random, but it was. And in another run, the wedding was cancelled because the groom died before. It was the kind of thing that can happen in real life. And it was also a possibility that I originally wanted to include in the LARP. In real world conflicts, an engagement does not give you script immunity. However, the wedding was a central design feature. So I went, when I saw the result of the die roll that it's actually going to be the groom, I panicked a little and for a short while I actually considered cancelling the decision and having another character die. I was afraid that if I remove this wedding from the LARP, it will ruin the whole, whole player experience and it will be a very monotonic LARP without the wedding. But in the end I went with the aesthetics of randomness and again, some players had hard time believing that it was actually a random decision. They thought that in the workshop when we talked about the wedding, it was just to you know, cheat, them, cheat them into believing that there would be a wedding. However, also after one of the runs in the debrief, uh, one player 
brought up how random everything felt. And I think that was because it actually was random. And uh, we had in the context uh, contextualization a person who was actually from Gaza and he said that life there can be a bit random often. So after this experience of running the LARP several times, I recommend also all of you to play with random elements in LARPs. I think a LARP feels different to the players when they know that things are decided randomly. And if they are not, even if they are not sure during the LARP if it's random or not, I think their percep perception on the experience will change afterwards when they realize that it was random. So um, I think randomness can create a feeling of realness and it also makes possible for players to feel uncertainty uh, which is not actually possible if they are in control of the fates of their characters. And that is why I think more player agency does not necessarily always lead to better LARP experiences uh, because it eliminates uncertainty and sometimes uncertainty and randomness can be beautiful. So I'm hoping to see more LARPs with an aesthetic of randomness. Thank you. <laughs>